What's up guys, it's Nick here, and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. In the last episode, we uh, went to Cannon Island, and we got ourselves a cannon for our ship. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, we tried uh, going northwest, as uh, the map told us to. And, um, we found the Peter ship, but the fog was so intense that we couldn't go any further, so we're, it's still preventing us from going to the northwestern map, which is really annoying, and now I looked it up again, I look up how, where to go again, and, um, apparently we're supposed to go to that island here. Um, that we're going to now because apparently every island is an optional apparently because we explored them all now in the north or south west map I guess I don't know I guess is it southwest I think it is I think I'm right I'm not sure though so yeah, we're going to this island right here that I'm shooting cannonballs at. Wait, isn't there a frog? Oh yeah, there's a frog here. Yeah, I got a frog. Oof! You got me. Nice shot, but why do you have to shoot me like that? See you around the pond. Wait, really? That's all he says? Okay. I don't know where the hell the pond is, but... Okay. Really? And now we got this tornado. Oh, okay, it just does damage to us. I thought it was gonna bring us somewhere else. I'm like, seriously? Like, are we just, like, prevented from going anywhere? Can I get health back or no? I mean, I'm getting a bunch of rupees, but... I kind of want health. <laughs> okay, and just interrupt me. With, um... Modelia Island, did you say? I think so. Um, okay. It's a cute little island. We can't navigate through the fog, so what are we supposed to do? I'm asking you the same thing. We can't get to the crest location on the chart unless we pass through the fog. What do we do? Do you want to ship out? No, I mean we came here for a reason. Then go take care of things and let's ship out soon. All right. Uh, let's see what we got here. Just a pot, okay. With a rupee inside. All right. What does this one have to say? Anything? Anyone here? Ooh, a chest. Okay. Rudo crown, Rudo crown. The Zoras have passed it down across generations. Why the hell is it just in a treasure chest lying there? It's if it's a crown that like has been passed down to generations. Wouldn't you think it would be like hidden away somewhere? Let's see how much is this? Five hundred. No, thank you. How much is a shield? 80? No, that's stupid. Let's go get some arrows that we don't even have a bow for. I mean, we could probably make a bow out of boomerang. Just attach a string to the end of the boomerang. And boom, you got yourself some bow. Alright, well, I guess we'll visit this house. Hopefully there's someone inside here. And there is, okay. I don't see, I haven't seen any Zoras yet, to be honest, and there weren't any Zoras in Wind Waker, so it's kind of weird that they have Rudo's crown here, passed down generations, but yet there's no Zoras, so I don't understand. You something, kid? What? You want to travel to the Island of Gust? Please don't tell me you're going your way, your own way, too. Yes. <laughs> oh, really? Do it your way. Go your own way. What a bunch of garbage. 
All this endless babbling about living with a lust for adventure. Can that put food on the table? Can that make your family happy? Going your own way is no life, no way, no way to survive in this life. May way is a, a lot, my, I can't even speak. My way is a lot better, staying home, eating cheese, that's the life. So how is staying home? I mean, I guess it's putting food on the table if he's eating cheese, but like, how does he afford that? <laughs> I mean, I have more rubies than him, probably. Yeah, I'll Gus, don't say another word about it. Figure it out yourself and get out of here. Wow, okay. That's kind of mean. I'm gonna throw a pot on him. Wait, kid, come back. <laughs> Alright. Sorry to unload all that on you, kid. It's just that my dad used to say lots about going his own way to explore. I got fed up with him. My dad used to talk about getting through the fog and seeing the Isle of Gus. He said something about a specific route for getting through the foggy passage, but only he knew which way to go. There's a cave behind our house where my dad used to escape all the time. He called it his hideaway. You might find more details in there, but it's dangerous in there, so take care of yourself, kid. Okay. So this cave, I guess? Young man, you mustn't go into that cave. Dangerous monsters have been seen there lately. Now, be a good boy. Don't go anywhere near it. Oh, what? Well, if my son ha has said it, it's alright. Then go on in. There's no stopping you, is there? But please, don't do anything too dangerous. Alright, well, you said it's dangerous in here, and I'm doing something dangerous by going inside here, but... Whatever. I'm supp still surprised that these enemies don't give you health. It's really annoying, too. Also, why can I hit that bat? There we go. Is there a bomb here? I'm surprised I got those rupees. Looks like there's some different ground there. And that's a big boy. Is this your dad? <laughs> Is this the guy's dad? He's like, yeah, I've been living in the sewers. Shoot. If I throw a boomerang at him. That shit hurt him. That didn't work. There we go. How did he take damage there? He was stunned. How did I take damage? Bro! That doesn't make any sense. How do you take damage from a stunned enemy? Unless he has like toppled spikes or something like that. Like in Xenoblade Chronicles, but like... No. Finally got a heart from an enemy. Yeah, this is that's just that's, a, that's just not fair. I don't like that. Wait, what if I get a bomb instead? That works too. Right, I guess I I can take my time. It's that easy, huh? Is it really that easy? I guess so. All right. Um. Wow. <laughs> I guess if you just hit him in the front, it deals damage to you and makes him stop being stunned. For some stupid reason. That I don't understand. Okay. So now we're on the other side. Getting a lot of rupees here, which is good. Uh, we got some bombs to bomb this. Hmm. 
This gives us a diary and a shovel. This must be a place that Ram Ramen Rat Rat Ramen 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 Noodle Ramen Noodles Dad told his highway called his highway. But I haven't seen any clues. He didn't even tell us his name, so how did you know his name? But I haven't seen any clues about how to get through the foggy passage. There's a book on the desk, Nick. Go and tap the book to read it. That's hard because I don't know how to read, so that's gonna be a tough one. So okay, you can dig stuff like that. Big root, a hundred rupees right there. That's how we got the food on the table. That's how we got the cheese. <laughs> my journal. I'm writing this while in a private space. I call my hideaway. Where whenever I'm here, I find myself utterly at peace, and it will stay that way only as long as I know that no one will interrupt me. Now, I do have one more hideaway, and no one will ever find the entrance. It's under the spot where the lines draw between my stone tablets intersect. It's brilliant if I do say so myself. Hello? Wait, the two tab... I did not understand any of that, but whatever. Um, I do remember there was another digging spot, so I'm gonna go there, and then we're gonna go up the stairs. I heard some electrifying sound, but haven't seen anything yet. That's another big rupee. Wow! I just got myself. 200 big ones. Now we're at 613 rupees. Is there anything here or no? No? Okay. So something intersects. I couldn't read. I didn't understand that. Maybe it's up here that it's like talking about. Where for is where is number three? But the Isle of Gus was only one of my one of many islands beyond that foggy passage. I'll see them all. It's my life stream. It's only it's the only way to live. <sighs> okay. Uh, there's something on the right, but I want to see what's on the left. Anything on the left? A chest. I'll take that. Got some pink coral. This pretty piece can only be found in clear water. Well, boy, did I find that in a chest. That's not clear water, so... You lied to me. Um, what do you have to say? Words number four. What a discovery. On the Isle of Gus, a temple reached into the sky itself. But a temple to what? For whom? My curiosity must be satisfied. Well, it won't be because you're probably dead and I probably killed you. But, you know, it's fine. Right? Oh, hey, there's a chicken. Cuckoo, clue, 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 no, not clue. Um, let me go back to reading that journal and read it over multiple times because I'm sped. So, I mean, there's a door right there. There's a staircase over there. So maybe, I mean, it's obviously something over here. But to get to there, I don't know. There's something electrifying too, which is weird. Let's read it again. Okay. The, wait, what? Why is that available again? Oh, just for a heart. Okay. My journal. I'm writing this while I'm in a private spa space I call my hideaway. That's where we are. Whenever I'm here, I find myself utterly at peace. Okay. And it will stay that way only as long as I know that no one will interrupt me. Now, I do have one more hideaway, and no one will ever find the entrance. It's under the spot where the lines draw between my stone tablets intersect. It's under the spot where the lines draw between... So he has two stone tablets of words three and words number four they intersect but like huh 
It's brilliant if I do say so myself. Okay. Whatever you say. I mean, it says words number three and number four, so I feel like I missed number one and number two. But I don't really know what, what where those are. Okay, so right here. I'm going to put a dot. We're going to connect the lines here. And then right here. I'm going to put another dot. And then we're going to connect the lines. So where they intersect. Isn't that just the cave though? I mean, where else would that be? Oh, like, intersect with the back road? So, like, over here? Over here? I'm so confused. Is it back here or something? Hello? I mean, I can't bomb anything, because there's no bombs on here. So I'm a little confused. Oh, is it in here? No, it's just another big rupee. How much money are we going to get? I'm so confused with this intersecting part, but whatever. Maybe there's more stone tablets or something? Alright, let's see what we got here first. Special delivery, yada yada yada, you can shut up. We get it. Okay, give us it. Thank you for your recent help. Yada yada yada. Just give me something good. I didn't get anything? Alright. Thanks for wasting my time. Alright, um. Anyway, oh yeah, see, see here's another stone tablet. Okay, this is number two. Okay. So where's number one, though? I think I'm doing it wrong, because that... The one... I think that to be in order, like, one, two, three, four. Okay, so here's one. So is it like one, two? Cause this is three here. Three's here, so this would be two, three. It would be like that. Right? But like they don't intersect. Right? <laughs> I mean, the only thing I think of is like, right here, but like even that, it's just, what, do I just like dig it up? Like I'm confused on where to dig, like do I dig? Am I digging for the hideout? Well, there we go. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's the answer. And we got a treasure map. Alright. That's just for treasure. <laughs> Welcome to my new hideout. To my son. If you're reading these words, you have found my true hideaway. Well, I'm not your son. Okay. <laughs> Which means, you are also smart now, but you're not because you didn't figure it out. Which means you have also developed a desire of cheese uh, to find your own way in life. Know that I'm truly sorry for putting you and your mother through so much. I'm well aware that I'm the world's worst father, leaving you both behind. There's no much, there, there's so much about the ways of the world I don't understand. Such is why the ghost ship appears and steals people. Where do it, where do it victims go? And I have decided to dedicate my life to finding out the answers. If 
If I fail to return, please take care of your mother and please forgive me. In closing, one more thing. Embrace your wayfaring ways, my son. Okay. Uh, oh, there's Mr. Electricida. Um, now we need a key. There's a strange sun emblem on that door, Nick. I wonder if we can open it. Try touching the door. Um, you're dumb. Alright, fine, I will. <laughs> hmm, that didn't work. It's not opening. There's something about this crest that tickles my memory. Hey, why don't we draw this emblem on your map so we remember it later? It's a sun! Like, how do I draw it on my map, too? It's like, where do I draw this? It's like over here. There's your goddamn sun. Alright. <laughs> yeah, happy now. Beautiful artists at work right here. What's the point of that, though? There's, like, no point. What does it say? Oh, here we go. To my son, here's the only way to sail through the foggy passage. <sighs> okay, let me memorize this. I probably won't, but okay, this is easier. Okay, so we go this, that, 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 loop around. So I go like that, and then... Wait, how? Oh, you go this way, and then... That, and then there. Go underneath. That's how you do it. Okay. Well, now we know. Good thing I went back and checked. Because then we would have been screwed. Because what the heck is this point, then? What's that sun key thing that's there for no reason? Maybe we should tell his son or something? Yo, do you have a sun key or something? Yo. Huh, you found my dad's hideaway and defeated the monster in there? Hmm, I see. You inspired me, kid. What drove my dad to go his own way, like you? I must jo- I may just join him and find out. Thanks, kid. Wow, that's all he's gonna say. Okay. And he's still sitting there, probably eating cheese. Um. But yeah, I think I'm gonna end things there. So, um. That was, uh. Whatever island. It probably said in the episode. Um. Yeah, so thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And stay tuned for more Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass right here on Tone Neck. Bye.